Hello everybody, Al Tindall, Carl Al Futsal here. Um, today we're going to talk about rotations. Okay, so rotations in futsal, you may have heard of them, you may have not, but it's a fundamental key part of the game, rotations. Um, you'll see in the adult game that um, they're very well rehearsed and it, every player on the court seems to know what they do. It's almost coordinated, synchronised movement and actually that's what it is. Um, so the top teams are training sort of two, three, five times a week, whatever it might be, if they're professional, depends what level they're at. Um, and they can really get into the detail of the set movements and the patterns of play on a futsal court. Um, but today I'm going to focus on how we introduce these to our academy players, because that's who we're all coaching. Um, introducing these rotations is usually done at around under 12, okay? So we'll start introducing some patterns. Um, like I say, it depends how many times a week the boys are trained as to how quickly we'll get them, but what I'll talk about right now is how we can start introducing the idea and the most important thing here is that the boys understand why we're asking them to rotate. I fell into the trap myself in the past of saying, right, we're going to do rotations, this is going to be real futsal here today boys and I want you to do this, I want you to move there and not really explain why. Um, and hopefully what I'm going to go through here is going to give you an idea of how you can communicate to the boys why we're asking them to rotate and then hopefully they'll see for themselves the benefits of it. First of all, to start with though, um, I'm just going to show a couple of videos, okay, and to introduce the rotations to the to the boys that I've been coaching at um, under 11s, under 12s, um, I focus on the 4-0, okay, and that might seem um, a little bit complicated probably for those of you who are uh, more experienced in futsal, you may think 4-0, it's an advanced um, movement rotation, but um, you can start with whatever you want, there's a butterfly movement in a 2-2, but Actually, I think the 4-0 is perfect for the younger ones because uh, it focuses mainly on man-to-man, -man, which is what we, we focus in in our academy, um, and it actually, it, it's just paired movements, and again, we focus on that heavily in um, the foundation stage of our academy, so we can take the man-to-man, -man, we can take the paired movements, and we can create lots of movements in a 4-0, um, and hopefully, uh, by the end of this little tutorial, you'll understand um, exactly why I've picked the 4-0. So, a couple of videos. First one here just shows you some patterns of play. Okay, and you can see the team in red set up flat across the court, and they're just rotating around in movements. So this is just one particular movement. And the idea is that you're creating, a f you bring the defenders in flat, and they create a line of defence, and then that leaves space, uh, space to exploit in behind. But you can see pair movements. So if you can spot the wall passes, the blocks, the overlaps, the underlaps, these are all paired movements. Although we've got four players, they're all working together in pairs. All goes out, all comes back. Switch of movement, forward run. They'll take out probably. Just movement of space, wall passes. And then we're creating space to exploit and hopefully we've dragged the defenders high up the court. Okay. Again, 4-0 movement, plays the pass, this player takes off, checks back in, checks back out, takes the space, and we're always creating the balance, so we've got four across court again in a flat line, and we're trying to drag these defenders in towards us, we're co confident 1v1 on the ball, we've been doing that in our academy since the kids were 6, now getting under 12s, and they all love being under pressure, man marked, they love it. And they've got these movements that they can do in pairs to get out of tight situations if they're in trouble. Let's see if we can see some of it um, in match play here, so you can see the balance. One, two, three, four, and try to drag this defenders out to create the space in here, but all one twos, overlaps, underlaps, blocks, wall passes. See it a little bit better on this video here. One, two, three, four. There's our four players in blue, they've dragged the red defenders in and they're looking to exploit the space in behind. And both teams are using a man to man system pretty much here. Here we go, set up in the 4-0 again. Drag the reds in, reds don't let the press drop off, forward run check movement, drops off, 
Working in pairs, little one two. Working in pairs all the time, you see the keep the possession really comfortably. And then they're away to exploit the space higher than four. Okay? So you may be thinking that looks quite advanced to get under 12s to be doing this, okay? Um, it is advanced stuff when it, you see it like this and when you practice it over and over again, but actually um, you can get your kids doing this, okay? You can get the boys and your teams doing this and I'll show you how. This is my tactics board and this is how I start it off, alright? So I'll explain to the boys that we're going to work in pairs. Okay, so we just get them doing a very simple passing movement on court, okay, where they're receiving safe side. And let's put a couple of defenders in, okay. They're receiving safe side from the guy out wide, okay, and then all they do is they just switch positions, okay. So you can start with the ball out wide, switch positions whenever they want, plays the pass, makes a move, he drives in and they're just switching positions, that's all we're getting them to do. Okay, so that's step one, we get them to pass and switch positions. Okay, on the other side of the court, you can do the same thing with another pair, all right, they'll have a ball, they'll be passing between themselves, okay, and switching positions, ball gets played out, uh, played out wide, he drives in, he takes his position, okay, whether you're using defenders or not, it doesn't really matter, but you can drop a defender in, just one defender or two defenders, whatever you like, and you can start doing, um, you can play the ball out wide, and then you can have this guy do a block, just to create the space, okay? Just get some of the paired movement stuff going, blocks, underlaps, overlaps, okay? Hopefully you can see where I'm going with this, this is our four zero formation, okay? And then what we do is, we, again, you can drop the defenders in or out, you don't need defenders for this, but we're just introducing the idea. Then we get them to play amongst themselves, pair movement in the middle, and then they can switch it out wide, okay? And the golden rule here is that once you've played the ball out wide, you've got to switch with the man, okay? So that's step number three, okay? So you just go through this again for the exercise. Step number one is we're working in pairs on court, okay? We're just getting them to pass the ball out wide, drive in, and switch position, and when they're there, pass the ball out wide, drive in, switch position. So that's step one, that's the first part of the exercise, okay? Step two is you've got another pair on the other side of the court with a ball of their own, okay? Two balls, two pairs working together, okay? And they're doing the same thing. Step three, one ball between all four, okay? A pair in the middle can pass amongst themselves as much as they like. You don't need defenders, you can have defenders if you want, you don't need them, that's between themselves. And then every now and again, you can switch the ball out wide, okay, drive in, and switch position. So that's number three. Then they're passing amongst themselves, passing amongst themselves, passing amongst themselves. He switches the ball out wide, he drives in, switch positions. So already we've got a very simple movement where we've been working in pairs, okay, now we're working as a pair in the middle. So paired movements in a four, which replicates match play, and we've got the boys rotating positions on the wings with the guys in the middle. So three steps to that, okay? The next step is this, step number four, okay? And they, they may not get this all done in the same session. It may take a couple of weeks to build it up. You might do the paired movements one week, recap it the next, add the second bit in, do it the next week, and then progress it like that. Once you've got to this point, okay, these boys are passing to, amongst themselves in the middle. I would leave defenders off for this, to be honest. Uh, they pass amongst themselves in the middle and they switch it out wide, okay? And then we know that they switch because we've been doing that exercise. The progression here is when these, this pair switches, this pair also have to switch, okay? Okay, so we're passing amongst ourselves. Here we go. Ball gets passed out wide. We know there's going to be a switch here. And at the same time as that switch happens, this switch happens over here. And we can play again from the middle. That's step number four. Okay. Step number five. Let's add three defenders in. Okay. These guys are just marking for um, for fun, loosely. Okay. Not really trying to win the ball at this point. Step number five. We've added defenders in. We're doing the same thing. Just keeping possession. Okay. Keeping possession. 
and we're just practicing our switching of movement. So when this switch is, happens here, this switch happens here, okay? It'll get interesting in a sec. So we've got to this point, we're happy with it. Now we add some defending triggers to improve the quality, all right? So remember, if you're a defender, you can win the ball on three occasions. A poor touch, okay? So if his touch is poor and it bounces away, we can nick it. A negative touch, if he turns back towards his own goal, we can apply pressure. Okay, or if it's a really poor pass, we can intercept it. All right, so the defenders are allowed to win the ball on three occasions now. So we're looking for real quality in the middle. Okay, so the, we do the same exercise again, this time with the defenders allowed to tackle. And then finally, we add a progression in, okay. And the progression is, we have to keep possession in here. Okay, we can have as many combined movements within this area as we like. Okay, you're not trying to score, it's just a possession exercise, then we switch it out. We follow our rules all the time whilst we're doing this. Defenders can only win it on the three occasions that we've said, okay? And we keep possession. So that's step number six, I think. Keep possession of the ball in a 4-0 rotation. We're not going anywhere yet. And then finally, step seven. Um, we have to maintain possession for ten passes, okay? As our team switching with our rules, ten passes. On the tenth pass, you're allowed to break out and exploit the space and score. And hopefully by this point, when you're exploiting this space and there's no defenders in here, the kids uh, that you're coaching will understand why we're trying to do the 4-0. The benefits of having the defenders drawn in a flat line and the, split and the space to exploit. Okay. You can also add into this that if uh, the fourth defender, okay, man-to-man -man marking system, space to exploit and score, you can also add in that if the possession uh, is poor in here and we give the ball away, this team can go and score as well, all right? Or you can add a number of passes in, four or five, before they have to go and score. But that's it, guys, and it's a really simple way um, of getting young kids to actually rotate in a set way and understand where they need to be, where the teammates are going to be, and then why we're asking them to do that. Um, so yeah, real simple, uh, simple way of explaining to the kids a 4-0 system and a great introduction to rotations because if they can do this one and they understand the patterns, uh, the working in pairs, the switching and the movements, they'll understand a lot of the other um, rotations of play and set plays that we might do later on. Thank you.